What is the crack lads and welcome back to another player review. So today we're taking a look at the Premier League's latest hottest transfer Anthony obviously plays for Manchester United the club I support so I am a little bit biased about this guy I actually was working on this review for quite a while and he is a beast of a player I do have some nice clips of him here so as of now he is 64,000 GP He's a right winger, 77 overall is his overall rating at the base level. He's got 37 player levels as well, but we'll head over to eFootballDB.com in just a minute and check him out as to what he can progress into. And then we're going to train him in real time. We're going to show you what he looks like pre-training and post-training and see what he kind of boosts up and stuff. He, man, this guy is unbelievable, right? It's very rare that I get a player that I actually play with that I can see an immediate like impact from him of how he actually plays. He seems to have really good player ID, even though player ID doesn't really shine through at the moment in eFootball 2023, but he does seem to have a lot of really nice player skills and player traits and his motion, his player style, everything. He just kind of flows on the pitch when you get a good run at it. Now, a lot of the reason for this is his base stats and what they do level up to. So he goes up to a 90 overall. Um, I have also boosted up his out wide play style proficiency. But 90 acceleration, 89 dribbling. His stamina is a bit of an issue. I think anyone that has stamina less than 87, 88 is going to struggle if you play a run and gun type game style. And if you're trying to, you know, drag him back and stuff. But that is what he does train up to. So when you're back here and we're taking a look at him for 64,000 GP lads, I definitely had to give him a go. He is United's latest signing. There's a lot of hype about him. There's a lot of talk about him. He has a bit of an edge to him as well. I think him and Diaz are two of my favorite wingers in the game. They're not the best, obviously Neymar is probably the ultimate and Kingsley Coleman and Dembele, but I think Diaz from Liverpool and Anthony now at United are just incredible. So I've decided people were asking me to kind of play around with him in, in training mode and just have a look at his motion and stuff offline and what he looks like. He has got some beautiful touches, some really good feet um, in the player cam here and you're seeing kind of like what he looks like. Double touch is easy to him and he looks like to have a nice like assortment and a variety of shooting, passing, dribbling, speed, acceleration. He can do pretty much every trick in the game very, very easily. Obviously online you're not going to be doing some sombreros now with the way the gameplay is the tricks have been really nerfed down um, and double touches and stuff but this guy his shooting lads with his outside of the foot and his corners his crosses his offensive running is ridiculous so um, you know he is a really really good player I think that if you are a United fan or if you're looking for a winger to have that's not your traditional Neymar or Coleman or Sané or Mane or Salah um, I definitely think Anthony is a beast of a player he's got a really good shot and uh, he's just an all-around good player so boosting him up here he actually takes i think it's about seventy thousand xp to boost him up so we put 60 in there and then obviously we're going to just throw a couple of more in for the four thousand. so yeah it's 60 what four thousand sixty five sixty nine thousand. i think he costs uh to boost him up or sixty eight thousand, completely maxing him out obviously you'll be able to train him up better with a manager but I do think that you definitely need to train him up as high as you can possibly go with the amount of trainer points that you have. And as I said, you don't have to train him exactly how I'm training him here. But this is kind of the best style that I found for him. So obviously, if you do are if you are playing a possession game, play it, you won't need to boost up his proficiency too high. Um, but these are the stats that I've done. Obviously, you can simulate this over on eFootballDB.com if you want to check what kind of versions of the player you can have. But I definitely will think i do think that we are going to get a player of the week version of him as well um sometime and again it's just his feet man i mean obviously with the gameplay being the way it is at the moment it is a little bit more chaotic than it was before the eFootball 23 patch v2.0 but i still think him on a winger if you're playing a 4-3-3 or you're playing a 4-5-1 He's deadly on the right flank and he's so flexible in how he actually moves around the pitch that if you have him with another really good winger, um, he's just able to, you know, produce really good moments of magic on the wing, which is what you want your wingers to do. So again, you'll see here he's got some contextual dribbles and stuff like Pedri has and the best dribblers have. It can be frustrating sometimes, but he has really good balance as well. Now, obviously, the way the game has gone, um, you are going to be on your on, on the ground a good bit with players like this. But I definitely recommend when you look at a player like him with his overall stats at the 90 rate, you're going to talk about a player that has so much potential when he's actually running forward with the ball. And I think his rating is going to get a boost next week because he obviously had a good debut for United. 
and they did beat Arsenal. I do think that his rating is going to get up more often than not because he is a very high profile player. Um, and one of the things I found about him was cutting in from the right flank right here, like cutting in on line and just being able to slot chances away with a left footer on the right wing. It's very, very nice and it's very, very decent because people are expecting you to kind of square it a lot of the time. And if you've got a right footed player, you are going to square it a lot of the time. Now, these clips are from a range of online games, offline games, testing in the training mode. Um, I tried to get in a good lot, a couple of a good lot of ones in it. Um, but again, I have to play more with him. But I'm really, really enjoying what I'm seeing with him. I think his left foot shooting and he's just so direct. You watch the run he makes here when you get the ball. He's straight into the flank, hugging the end line, um, trying to get in as far as he can. Beautiful first touch and then slots at home to give us the win in the eFootball League. So, yeah, lads. So, for my rating for Anthony. I, I'm going to have to give him a 9, man, based on what I've played. I've played about 12 to 13 matches with him. I've tested him out offline. I've kind of looked at him when in the simulation matches as well as everything else. And he is a beast, right? Maybe I am a little bit biased because I'm a United fan. Um, I think if you are looking for a left-sided version that is very, very similar, if not better. I would have to say that Diaz, who I haven't reviewed yet, but I would give Diaz a really big shout out here. All the games that I was playing on that I tested, Diaz was on the left, Anthony was on the right, Haaland or Romario was through the middle. So I was trying to get a load of good clips together. And I think these were the best ones that I could have found um, where it just shows his real strengths and a couple of his weaknesses. He's not the best, um, obviously, with you know shooting on his right foot or anything like that. But skills, speed, acceleration, crossing the ball in, switch and play, and just running you know, straight lines, running forward with the ball. He is an absolute beast. So I do give him a rating of 9 out of 10. Let me know if you disagree or agree. Maybe it is my Manchester United bias seeping through, lads. I'm trying to stay unbiased, but I've just been enjoying play with him. Him and Diaz are definitely a solid 9 out of 10 when you have him boosted up to the max. Stamina takes away one point, I would say. Um which is a bit of a pity. Uh, but yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will be back quite soon. Let me know who else you would like me to review because I'm really enjoying these reviews. I'm playing a lot of online quick matches where there's no real pressure to get results. Uh, so let me know who else you guys would like to see and I'll be back quite soon. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Peace.